They called it Dolores. Dolores' original purpose was to sell good food at reasonable prices, but it also appealed to the local clubs in the region, such as Alcoholics Anonymous, the Rotary Club, and our very own Club 21. Dolores Cafe was first founded and opened by Dolores Friedman in 1972. Opened to the public shortly thereafter, the cook mysteriously vanished, never to cook again. Although this story must begin with tragedy. Breaking news, firefighters on the scene of a restaurant fire in West LA. Let's go up to Stu Mundell in Sky 2. Hey Stu. Hey Ali. LA City Fire was called out here to the Dolores restaurant on Santa Monica Boulevard where a fire started. This is on the 11,400 block. This is such a tragedy in the making. We're all standing here out here with uh, on bated breath to see what's going to happen. They're cutting a, they're cutting a hole in the ceiling right now to look for survive. Wait, wait. I'm getting the information that that the, the LA City Fire Chief said there was a toast toastmaster meeting in progress when the fire began. Even the reporters were so disturbed by the events. They just wanted to be competent communicators. <laughs> References to the Coconut Grove fire and other terrible fires throughout history spread across the land. One local performer who didn't give his name described Club 21's practices as a satanic ritual which brought about their untimely demise. He then described it as the Burning Man Festival, a pagan, ritualistic, drug-induced, coma-inducing, crazy, crazy place where people do terrible, no good, very bad things. Because he really hates Burning Man Festival. A lot. But the story does not end here. The biggest revelation is yet to come. I see dead people. In your dreams? While you're awake? Dead people like in graves and coffins? Walking around like regular people. They don't see each other. They only see what they want to see. They don't know they're dead. Last week, my parents took me to Earth, Wind and Flower restaurant. We went to the back room. There was a whole group of dead people. They were conducting some kind of public speaking meeting. Amongst the fiery ruins of the once pristine Dolores Cafe, a mystery was about to begin. The search for one man who seemed to have eluded the fate that ended everyone's bright future. And how could I have come to such a revelation that one man could have survived such an inferno, such a terrible, terrible place? He updated his Facebook page while all the others had their mournful family members remembering their lives and posting pictures and tweets. This one man the sole survivor changed his profile picture on many different dating websites. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. 